Okay, here with Minji. Oh, I'm not recording. Wait. Okay, here with Minji Lee coming off of her second round here at the CME Group Tour Championship. Take me a little bit through your round today. Lots of birdie opportunities out there. How are you finding those? Uh, yeah, when I started this morning, it was really windy. So um, I think I started maybe with a string of pars and then made two birdies on the front nine and then had two birdies, three birdies and a bogey on the back nine. So, I mean, pretty solid day. Uh, I wish I birdied 17 and part 18, but, you know, it's golf. Mm -hmm. So hopefully get, get, get it tomorrow. <laughs> I know it was a little windy yesterday, too, maybe not as much because you started later oh, yeah, yesterday, was, but how did yeah. you sort of manage the wind differently today? Um, it was the same direction. It was just a little stronger, so it wasn't like it was like a totally opposite wind or anything. So it was pretty easy to adjust to just maybe half a club more than yesterday. So it wasn't nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you had a little bit of a confidence boost coming into the day after winning the Annika Major Award last night? Um, yeah, I mean, actually the video that they played actually gave me goosebumps. So I was like, oh, that's just so cool. It just gave me a little bit of inspiration, um, I think, coming into today and the, and the rest of the week. So no, it was just really nice. Go ahead, Bethan. A couple of things. I know you're you're used to being in pressure situations with a lot on the line, but this week is a little bit different with the player of the year in addition to everything else. Do you find yourself thinking about that at any point during um, the day or in the round? Uh, I, I didn't today while I was playing. Yesterday um, I thought about it a little bit um, just here and there, but – you know, it doesn't really, I didn't think it really helped me. So I just was like, I'm going to go out there and just do my very best like I always do. Um, and that's pretty much what I did today. So, uh, The commissioner announced the schedule today and with purses are for the first time going to be totaling over $100 million. What does that milestone mark mean to you? I mean... I know we've been going from strength to strength, you know, um, over the years and, you know, just to be able to, I guess, be over 100 mil, I think it's um, just a milestone in itself and just a testament to how well our, I guess, our commissioners and our sponsors have um, stepped up to put up that money. So I think it just closes a little bit of the gap between the men's and women's tour. And I know we, we've always been saying it so much, but... Um, we're, we've only been going from strength to strength, and I think it's only going to get up. Uh, go, keep going up from here. I don't think it can, it can ever go down. <laughs> no. <laughs> when when you look at, uh, there's a huge gap in the beginning. Uh, not a lot of tournaments, especially full field events, but then it gets crazy. And there's yeah. like four majors in the span of eight weeks. How? What What do you think of kind of the flow of the schedule overall, and how and how you'll decide what to do? Um, for me personally, usually I don't play the first few events of the year and start in Asia. So I think it really helps with all the craziness that, you know, we kind of have to go through with the majors in the middle of the year. So um, I know it's such it's a great schedule for everybody who maybe lives in Florida um, to play the first couple. But um, for me, it just doesn't make sense for me to come back for one event. So, um, you know, it's always difficult to you know, pick and kind of set your schedule the way you want it. Sometimes it changes while you're, you know, while you're playing. You, f you might feel like playing or you might not feel like playing as much. So I think having a lot of options is good. Um, and especially it, maybe for the girls who want like to play a lot, it gives them more opportunity to do that. So I think it's good. All right, one last question about your round today. Um, I'm wondering if you can take us through any of your me most memorable birdies today. And mm, I hit a really good shot into, what's the hole before the path, 76, 15. Okay. Um, it was just a really nice three quarter cut seven iron and I hit it to like three feet and made birdies, so it was nice. Awesome, thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you.